The highly sought after cyborg feature has been added to the game. To put it simply, cyborgs, or borgs for short, are man made ghost roles that allow players to continue a specific service or function even after death in order so they can keep playing the game. They also populate science with moving parts because science is going to have to build things like the cyborg recharging station in order for the cyborgs to be repaired. And it also offers potential antagonistic activities because cyborgs can be hacked by syndicate agents. Uh, there's a few places to start with this. I'm just going to start with the completed product in quotations. In order to have a functioning cyborg, you need to have, well, a cyborg that has finished all of his construction steps, which I will show. You either need an artificial brain, or you need a man-machine interface brain with a real brain attached to it, like so. They can all be made at the exosuit fabricator, and technology only allows you to unlock more advanced cyborg modules. But by minute one, as long as you have the materials, you can make a cyborg. They are very expensive, though. So as you can see, the fake brain costs half a stack of plasma and a sixth of a stack of silver, and the steel and plastic's not hard. So cargo is going to be needing money. Either way, this is a finished Borg cyborg, but it doesn't have a brain in it, so there's no use of it. However, with the artificial brain, you could pick it up, press Z, and it's like a PAI. It'll say beginning synthetic neural activity, and it'll start glowing with this really cool looking sprite. If you look into the ghost rolls, you'll have the serve the station crew objective and as a brain, and... You're not actually in a cyborg at this point, you are still just a brain. You can still talk through the brain, and this is the beginning of being revived, basically, or brought into a cyborg. And what the scientist has to do is they just have to put you in the cyborg. And this is a base model, it doesn't have any specific function, it has no modules. So if I show you what that looks like when you take it over... It actually appears, I just found a bug, where if you ghost out of a brain... Uh, it destroys the brain, basically. Like, this is dead. It doesn't look like you can read Ghost into it. Yeah, that's broken. Okay, I will report that. So, assuming somebody doesn't ghost out of their immediately new brain, you can request it. And I am now a robot. On the left side of the screen, you can view your laws. The default laws are, you may not injure a crew member or through an action allow a crew member to come to harm. You must obey orders given to you by crew members, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. You must protect your own existence as long as you, as long as such does not conflict with first or second law. Basically, help the crew, keep yourself alive, unless keeping yourself in lives involves hurting the crew. And there's not a more clearly defined set of rules other than that. But as this Borg, as all I can do is talk. I have no functions other than maybe dragging items, but I don't have any modules. I can't do any specific work. The only thing I could do is put myself into the charging station and charge, but my battery is full. Okay, so let's move on to how to make this Borg useful. In order to make this Borg useful, a scientist can make modules for you. And such modules, for example, I'll just start with the first one. A cable cyborg module. Well, what does that do? I'm not going to get through every module. There's a ton of them. But a module lets you just plug it directly into a Borg like so, as long as their maintenance panel is open. It basically gives this Borg cables of all types, a wire cutter, and a T-ray. Meaning they can now do electrical work. I have 10 low voltage cables, 10 medium voltage cables, 10 high voltage cables, wire cutters, and a T-ray. You can't drop these. You can't throw them. People can't take them from you. And if I look on the left... I can swap to the tool modules, and well, in this case, I put it away, but I can pull it back out. Uh, cyborgs actually have all access, so if I go into maintenance and I just want to place a medium voltage cable here, I could do so. And if I run out of cables, it will leave a ghosted image in place, and that way you can't end up like tricking the system and. Uh, Basically getting infinite cables that way. And also, yes, they are insulated, so you can snip wires with no fear. Yeah, and you also have a T-ray, so you can see under floor tiles. Problem is, you don't have a crowbar, though, with this module, so you can only fix broken floors. You can't tear them up. So, what a scientist could do, again, in this scenario, is they could look through 
more modules and hmm, how about a tool cyborg module that sounds good put that in you and each cyborg can have up to five modules as you can see here so now that I have a tool module well I could press three to swap to it and the tool module indeed has a crowbar a wrench and a screwdriver so now with these two you could have a cyborg that can repair wires like no one else they are insulated they can't slip they are a decent speed and they have specific laws to help you so what if you want to make a cyborg well it's pretty easy actually what you do is you just let's say i want to make a janitor cyborg you just have to print off all the janitor pieces which in this case there are no janitor arms there's just legs and you need the cyborg uh, endoskeleton regardless of which model you pick so you just give it a second to print it all out and yeah you, you can speed up the exosuit fabricator by upgrading it with machine parts so you just take your endoskeleton and you just start attaching pieces to it like so and the cyborg endoskeleton is actually really easy to uh, make it doesn't have arms and you just need to put in a power cell next a low voltage cable a singular one will do after and then you need two flashes which you can get from here the robotech deluxe lets you make two borgs because borgs need two flashes and then you screwdriver it and now it is functional it's functional but if you want to look further in it you can open the maintenance panel and name it but remember there's no brain so i could put the man machine interface in it however if you make this and you find some random brain and the person that the brain came from isn't there it won't do anything so you could always just make the uh artificial brain and remember you can press z once it is in your hand to activate it and stick it in there and if i go to the ghost rolls there it is so if i request it i'm now a janitor borg and the thing is though just because i'm a janitor borg doesn't mean i can actually do anything i don't have any modules like even if I were to make a mess for example just to show you exactly how this works if I just get a soda and spill it even though it looks like it could clean it just doesn't have any modules to do so so like I click on it I can't do anything running it over does nothing and as you can see I can't slip so if you want to make a skinned janitor Borg and you want it to be able to clean well you have to get cleaning cyborg module and if you install that in a borg like so you'll see it gets a mop a bucket and a wet floor sign and they have to produce their own water but i think you get the picture of how this works uh borgs in their base element are really simple uh they can charge themselves so once you build them you don't have to worry about much um, the only thing you have to consider is if they come back to you and they say they're damaged, uh, you can indeed fix them. So like I can just punch this a few times and to fix it, you're going to want a welding mask and a welding tool. And to fix it, it's just simply turn it on and left click it. It does a decent do after bar and no cyborgs cannot repair themselves by the way. So you do need outside help and you repair the janitor cyborg. What happens if you destroy a cyborg? What does it look like? Well, let's just hit it a few times. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 hits will completely destroy the Borg, leaving no remnants of it other than the tools that it had, and the brain will be left as is. You can rescue the brain. You can take the cleaning module back. And essentially... Uh, Thankfully, the brain is the most expensive part, so if you can save the brain, you can make a new body for them. That is the easy part. Uh, the hardest part of making the brain is probably sourcing more flashes and getting the materials. The hardest part of making a cyborg is sourcing the materials, but other than that, it's uh, not difficult. So, what about the question everyone's asking? What happens if a syndicate hacks it? So, with a cryptographic sequence or an EMAG, you can emag a cyborg. The card zaps something in the cyborg. So after emagged, you'll have law zero. You must obey orders given to you by, well, in this case, it's Eurus McCann's above all else. As far as I'm aware, I haven't seen any way to actually like write the law or customize it directly. It's a little loose. Uh, I'm sure there's, there's definitely going to be more work done on this. 
Uh, especially since, uh, as of right now, there's actually no, like, specific admin rules for being a Borg. So that's going to be a cause of some confusion, but it is a playtest, so it's worth keeping that in mind. And, yeah, so Law Zero is just whoever emags you, you will do as they are... You will do as they tell you to do, basically. Finally, I'll explain what the Man Machine interface does. In the untimely event that you get gibbed, uh, you can have somebody take your brain, put it on the interface and put you the, your brain into a cyborg. And as you can see, I am back to life. I am bound to my silicon laws, and I didn't even have to ask to be borged. You just get borged. Um, as long as your, your brain was recovered by someone, you can be put back in and continue to play as a cyborg and do what you are told to do. So, yeah, uh, that is basically the gist of borgs. I explain how to actually make them and how to have them be useful. Uh, the skins are just that. They're just skins. There's no difference between them. If you want a Borg that is designed to fix things, it's probably good to make them look like an engineering Borg. Uh, they're very customizable, so you just have to experiment with them in game. They are expensive, so don't be expecting to pump out too many, but you should be able to at least make one or two a shift. And that is what I got for you for now. Thank you for watching.